The chair recognizes the senator from Oxford, Senator Hamper. Thank you, Mr. President, Mr. President, ladies and gentlemen of the Senate. Um, I do have to uh, tell the members about a, uh, an email I received from a constituent in Denmark who um, told me she's making 16 grand a year. And she went on the exchanges, and for $5 a month, she picked up a silver plan. But I said earlier that I would address the uh, fiscal note, so that, that's the reason I rise. Um, the Office of Fiscal and Program Review, their independent analysis, neglected to take into account uh, they, uh, the financial information provided to them by the Department of Health and Human Services. Granted, it is common for state agencies to supply OFPR with, with um, data regarding information, you know, regarding legislation that's going to impact the budget. So my points are, I did them in an acrostic, a main care acrostic. So hang with me here. M, M is for Medicaid, Medicare, it's all the same. A, actual expenditures. OFPR's account for the parent population does not reflect actual DHHS expenditures. OFPR estimates that the per member per year cost at $1,618. $1,618 per member per year. That's what they estimated at. Actual expenditures, $2,862. $1,200 difference per member per year times the number of members. Difference in state costs, $17.8 million in 16 and $18.7 million in, in 2017. The I in main care is in staffing. DHHS estimates $2.5 million in staffing costs. OFPR estimates $2 million. Okay, there's a half million dollars. N, no longer. We have parents who are, are currently receiving transitional Medicaid, and for one quarter of the year in 15, they will no longer be receiving benefits. OFPR does not account for this expense. The department expects it to be around $4.2 million. E, eligible. DHHS estimates that parents will drop their private insurance if they are eligible for Medicaid. We've seen this before. And this would include their children. The department anticipates that 7,500 persons that will, that will make the switch, $6.6 million in 15, 6.4 in 16. The C in main care is commensurate. The federal government has, has warned us that shifting funds from existing programs could force states into losing federal block grant funding in the amounts commensurate with the shifted state funds. We'll lose block grant. A, assume. The bill has vague language about savings. If you really look at the, uh, the fiscal note, Vague language. There you go. We'll find it. It assumes 5.9 million in savings the first year and 11.8 in each of the two following years. Assumes the department's analysis show minimal or no savings at all. One only has to look at the history of Medicaid in the state to determine the outcome of expansion. R. Receive benefits. OFPR disregards the woodwork effect of people who were not identified as uninsured or currently not covered by Medicaid. They will literally come out of the woodwork for benefits. The department estimates 1,600 people to line up for free benefits at the estimated cost of 1.6 million in 15, 2.3 million in 16 and 17. The department also figures in an additional 9.4 million in able body adults, 9.4 to, to spend an additional $9.4 million for able-bodied adults, the so-called non-categoricals, in, in uh, fiscal year 17, where OFPR included just $3 million for this group. And finally, the E in main care is for estimates. For the three years, OFPR estimates $700,000. The department has a figure of $84 million. Mr. President, this issue is not about health care access. It is all about how we pay for health care. 
And might I suggest that when this is all said and done, we take the fiscal note and take it down to the library and file it in the fiction section. Thank you, Mr. President.